Hello guys, my name is Mapesa Moses. Welcome to this session. I'll be explaining on how to calculate the cusp cluster points. So the formula is the square root of x all over 48 multiplied by y all over 84. The answer you get, you multiply it by 48. So you find the answer of this section first, then you multiply it by 48. So let's understand first the elements of this formula x x represents mathematics because in each cluster mathematics is considered then two best sandes then one best language so that is for y then for x they consider seven subjects so x they pick math to best sound this to best languages like for example a student could have done germany french so you pick the best two languages then two best humanities stroke technical and applied subjects so 48 represent the total points of four subjects so each subject can have higher points of 12 so 12 by 4 you get 48 then here 12 by 7 you get 84 and each grade has its own so for grade A, you can see here, it's equivalent to 12 points, A minus 11 points, B plus 10 points, until the lowest grade, grade E, which has 1 point. So let's see an example on how to calculate the cluster point. So here are the results of a student. So for X, we shall pick math math the student got a b plus which is equivalent to 10 points then we shall pick the best language kiswahili the student had an a an a is equivalent to 12 points then to best sound this we shall pick any two because the student has c plus in in all the sound this so we shall pick let's say biology chemistry which will be equivalent to 14 points because C plus is equivalent to 7.7 .7 by 2, you get 14. So when you add this, you get our X is 36. Then for our Y, Y we shall pick uh, B minus English is equivalent to 8 points. You add Xoili, 12 points. Add Mathematics, 10 points. Then we shall add uh, two best sciences, let's say biology and chemistry, 14 points, each has 7, so 7 by 2, 14. Then we add history and government, A minus is equivalent to 11 points plus a B plus of CR, which is equivalent to 10 points. When you add, you get 65. So in the formula, we shall have 36 out of 48 multiply by 65 out of 84 when you find the square root we shall get 0 0.58057 when you multiply it by 48 we shall get the cluster point r 37 so those are the cluster points of this student so on the cusp portal they will always indicate the cluster weights of each student in each course or cluster so for example if this student wants to apply for any medical related course medical related courses are found in cluster 13. so the student for example will log into cusps portal and find and pick a course in cluster 13. when the student finds that the course he has chosen has higher points than 37 which is his cluster points so when the cluster points of any course from any university 
are higher than 37 it means the student doesn't qualify for that course but when the student finds any course that has less than 37 points this that one means the student qualifies for that course and he can be placed by course in that course for example let's say the student uh, chooses to apply a course from cluster 19 cluster 19 is for education and related courses and he the student selects bachelor of education science maseno university and let's say on CUSP's portal for Maseno University, cluster points are 36. Then on the last column, they'll indicate students' cluster points, which are 37. So, cluster points for education science at Maseno University, 36, are less than that of a student, which are 37. It means the student qualifies for education science at Maseno University. But if we find that Education Science University, UON, University of Nairobi, the cluster points are 40 and the students' cluster weights are 37, it means the student cannot be placed at the University of Nairobi for Education Science because the cluster weights are less than those of University of Nairobi. So that's how the cluster points work. So as we wait for the CUSPS application to open, each student should prepare with him or herself with at least three courses so that he'll be able to check whether he meets the cluster points or he does not meet the cluster points. Thank you for joining this session. Let's meet ne next time for other relevant information. Thank you.